How's it going guys, and welcome back to Ansible Media, where we explore the technology behind photo and video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a torture test low light comparison between DJI's Air 2S and its predecessor, the Mavic Air 2. Now I've had the Air 2S since release day, and I have to say I'm very, very impressed with the image quality out of this one inch sensor. Uh, so much so, in fact, that this intro is being recorded on the Air 2S. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So before we get started, I'd just like to give a thank you to my buddy Devin, who really helped me out in filming these videos. Uh, he was actually piloting the Mavic Air 2 while I was flying the Air 2S so that we could get the same shots in the same time frame. So thank you to him. And again, uh, I mentioned in my previous video, I do have a link in the description to his channel where he's gonna be throwing up some behind the scenes video um, that he took while we were filming this. So definitely go check his channel out. All right, before we get started watching the comparison clips, let's talk a little bit about what's different between these two drones. So the Mavic Air 2, which was released a little bit more than a year ago, uh, has a half inch 48 megapixel quad bear sensor. Um, now, if you're not certain what a quad bear sensor is, uh, in very brief terms, basically it just, you take a regular sensor, combine multiple pixels together into a group, and create a 12 megapixel image out of that 48 megapixel raw input. Um, supposedly this is going to give you better color reproduction and better low light performance, better dynamic range. Um, and in practice, it actually works really well. You can get some fantastic images out of the Mavic Air 2, uh, both in photos and in video. Uh, and it's got a few other tricks up its sleeve because of that quad bear sensor. Um, now, in contrast, the sensor in the Air 2S is not a quad bear design. It's a 20 megapixel, uh, one inch CMOS sensor, um, more of a, a standard sensor, uh, if you will. So you, while you do lose technically some resolution, uh, in practice, because it's a much larger sensor, um, you're going to get all the benefits of, you know, better low light performance, better uh, image quality in general. And uh, I think, the comparison clips that we show will actually show that the Mavic Air 2, uh, while great, is not nearly as good in low light as the Air 2S. Now one thing to be aware of is that the ISOs you have available are actually different depending on whether you're shooting in auto mode or in pro mode. So in the normal color profiles, uh, to get to anything above ISO 1600, you have to go into pro. So that's your ISO 3200, your ISO 6400. Now uh, on D-Log and HLG modes, you're actually limited to ISO 800 unless you go into pro, in which case you, then you can get to 1600. So if you need to be shooting at a higher ISO, if it's really dark, uh, you'll have to go into pro mode to access those ISOs. Um, and not that you necessarily want to, because at that level, especially in D-Log, uh, it tends to fall apart after ISO 800. Um, so be careful going there, but uh, it's probably for good reason that they, they keep it limited. Uh, to the lower ISOs, but uh, just be aware that you will have to switch to pro if you want to use them. Um, another thing that I would suggest is uh, for really low light scenarios, stay away from D-Log mode. Under most circumstances, under normal, you know, uh, daylight situations, D-Log will probably give you some of the better results. Um, but because of the way a log profile works, um, you tend to lose a lot of detail and information in the blacks and shadows. Um, and that's very noticeable. And you'll see that in a minute here. Um, so I, I tend to stay away from D-Log on really low light scenarios. Um, so actually, uh, the first clip I'll show you, this is ISO 1600 on the Air 2S. Um, we're gonna start with uh, the D-Log profile. Now this has been graded with a utility LUT to bring it uh, just to normal Rec. 709 colors. And as the transition comes through, um, we're going over to HLG, which has also been treated with a utility LUT. Um, you can see that there's a lot less noise in the shadows. And actually, in general, I think for low light scenarios, I like the HLG mode a lot. Um, but if you really need to get into the higher 
ISOs, you know, 3200, 6400, you'll have to move into a uh, normal color profile because um, they're just not available in HLG. So the first comparison clip I'm gonna show you here is uh, where I think both of these drones look the best, and that's at ISO 1600 in normal color profile on the Mavic Air 2, and ISO 1600 HLG mode on the Air 2S. And as the transition comes through here, you're gonna see that the Air 2S has almost double the amount of exposure at the same settings. Um, the highlights are much brighter, the mid-tones much brighter, and even the shadows are much cleaner. Um, you can actually see what's going on here. And like I said, this is not really a real world uh, sort of um, shoot, this is very much a torture test. Um, the dark, uh, the dark areas, the black areas here are very, very dark. And, you know, so this is not ideal, uh, but that's kind of what I'm, I was going for. I wanted to show it in the worst possible scenario so you can really see uh, where each one tends to fall apart. Um, so now we're gonna move over to uh, just normal mode on the Air 2S because we're going into the higher ISOs now. So this is ISO 3200 in normal mode on both the Mavic Air 2 and the Air 2S. And you can see definitely the Air 2S is handling the noise a bit better. Um, it still maintains about twice as much exposure, twice as much brightness as the Mavic Air 2. Um, and uh, definitely a much cleaner, more usable image for sure. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and push it one step further. I'm gonna go up to ISO 6400 on both, uh, still in normal color profile because that's the, the only profile that's available at this ISO. Um, and you can see once again, the Air 2S is considerably brighter, considerably cleaner. Um, although I don't know that I would actually ever in practice use ISO 6400. Um, that's a little bit too noisy for me. Now I do have a lot of other low light footage that's not quite as uh, torturous as this is. Um, and I am gonna put that into my overall review video. So I do have a, a few more videos on the Air 2S that I want to do. Uh, I want to put out a video just comparing uh, feature for feature these two drones and trying to decide whether it's a worthy upgrade and who it's a good upgrade for. Um, additionally, I am going to do a comprehensive long-term review of the Air 2S uh, after I've had it for a month or two. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, go ahead and do all the things. Uh, ring the bell, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.